All of these jackasses are going ding dong ditching. Listen, you dumb motherfuckers. I just got a sweet idea for a prank, yo. Here's what we do. We ring doorbells. And then we run away. Pretty sweet, huh? Holy shit. Our dipshit teacher Mr. Harrison lives on this block. I am gonna get that boner munching fart back good. Wait up, you noodle dick. I'll get it. What are you doing here? Um? I? Um? Was it? Supposed to do something. I know who you are, Gus Johnson. You are a student of mine. I am very disappointed in you. You should know not to walk into people's homes uninvited. Oh, fuck it. I was supposed to ding dong ditch, but I got carried away. I always wanted to call you something. Fag out. <laughs> oh man, did I get him good. You dumb dick nosed ass goblin. You're supposed to run away and hide, not walk into their house. <laughs> no way, bro. This is the new wave of ding dong ditching. I call it. Ding dong ditching. Here's what we do. We ring doorbells, walk into homes, and roast the motherfucker. Gus, for a dumbass shit kicking retard with a lazy eye, you can be a genius sometimes. <laughs> you two ass fisters get to work. Me first. Me first. No way. You always go before me. It must suck to be so slow. Ho <laughs> ho Maybe you should spend more time focusing on what is important in life rather than spend an inordinate amount of time jacking off to midget porn. Yeah? Maybe you should stop being such a psychotic asshole and quit rummaging through your mom's sex toys and stick her shitty butt plugs up roadkill. Then put the even shittier butt plugs back in her drawer. Oh yeah? Maybe you should? Alright, shut the fuck up. There's only one way to resolve this. Rock, paper, scissors. You're on, penis face. Why is your dick out? Boner beats paper. Blend wins. Cock. Look out, world. You can put your dick away, sperm guzzler. Who would ring the doorbell at this hour? It's dinner time. Soup? Oh my god. What are you doing? Why are you here? Why are you exposing yourself? Oh, you know, just... Get back. I have a knife, and I damn well know how to use it. Hey. Be cool. Back. Maybe we can. Back. Listen, that's it. Huh? Gee willikers, you caught my dick off. I'm out of here. But... <laughs> can I get my dick back? You better run, pervert. Or I'll cut more pieces off. Eep. That could have gone better. You can go, ditch it. You bet your microscopic dog I can go next. Oh wait, I am sorry, your dick just got chopped off. What I meant was... You can bet your ward infested dick I can go next. Oops, I mean... 
You bet you're slimy, ugly, maligned cock I can go next. Oops. I am in. Yeah. Oh boy. I cannot wait for dinner. Me too, son. Your mom is such a wonderful cook and a kind, faithful, beautiful woman. You are a straight, a student with many scholarships lined up and I am working at a very lucrative job that ensures we will never have financial problems ever again. Yep, things could not possibly be any better. You are so right, Dad. We have so much to lose. I cannot fathom what it would be like to lose everything in a matter of minutes. It would be very devastating. I'll get it. <coughs> hey you! Purple face! Why is your face purple? Are you gay? Purple is the gay pride color. Does that mean you're gay? I think you should leave, young man. And you, orange face. Why is your face orange? Are you gay? Orange is the gay pride color, too. That makes you gay. Hi, Matt. We go to school together. You should listen to my father. I know who you are and he is a very powerful man. I bet he likes powerful dick in his butt. Ho <laughs> ho What's going on? Who are you? It's a very rude kid I go to school with. Holy shit. <laughs> what a hideous creature you are. What happened? When God was passing out stomachs, did you get in line twice? <laughs> I won't take this. You leave now or I am calling the police. Take it easy. It's just a prank, bro. I am just roasting you. We go to other houses and roast the people in them. It's all in good fun. <laughs> ah, I remember what it was like to be young and free of worry. <laughs> Me too. I understand you're just a silly teenager trying to have some fun. Dad, don't listen to him. He's a psychopath. I know him from school. Also, I am going to literally roast you. I rigged this phone into a bomb. Say goodbye to all your earthly possessions. Oh no. Our house blew up. There is literally nothing left. Hello? Hi, is this Sid? Speaking. It is with a heavy heart that I must inform you we cannot sustain our current business model. We are terminating your employment effective immediately. We are also liquidating all of your retirement money and moving it all to our CEO's personal coffers. These yachts won't buy themselves, you know. What? You heard me, asshole. Everything I worked so hard for is gone. <laughs> There's only one thing left to do. Come on, Sid. We'll make it through this. I am sorry. <laughs> Bad. No. That was some good old-fashioned roasting. <laughs> you white boys ain't got shit in the prank game. Let me show you how a pro does it. So then I said... Break him? I barely knew him. <laughs> Thank you. Let's give it up for Danny. Next up for Super Mega Ultra Comedy Night is... I'll get it. Sup? I am the next comedian. Name's Gary. Please give it up for Gary.
Matt, Glenn, Gus. Get your packer asses in here. What a bunch of bullshit. Prepare to get roasted, fools. Matt, you psychopathic reprobate. Cock. Did you know Matt's mom is a raging whore? She's such a whore that even his cousin had sex with her. He was an anteater. <laughs> One time Matt's dad found his mom sleeping with another man. His dad and the man then got into an argument. You could say they got into a... Tug of war. <laughs> <laughs> but enough about Matt's mom. Let's talk about Matt. Did you know Matt is a fucked up degenerate? Big surprise, huh? He spends his days learning how to build bombs on the internet. One time he threw a pipe bomb at our Japanese friend Glenn's house out of sight. Glenn was unfazed. Little did Matt know that Japanese people need to be bombed twice before they get the message. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, you were too kind. I was expecting that joke too. Bomb. Gus. You stupid fucking hillbilly. You're next. Fuck me in the ballsack. Gus is a kid with big aspirations in life. When he grows up, he wants to be a police officer. In his own words, he told me he wants to fuck up crackheads and get high as balls during drug stings. Ooh! How very noble of you. But do you have what it takes? You need the brains and the brawn to pull it off. Does he have the brains? Well, let's see. Did he grad to a sixth grade? He sure did. It only took him three years. <laughs> <laughs> the brains check out, but does he have the brawn? Well, let's see. His dad runs a construction company and Gus showed up for Take Your Kid to Work Day. Instead of paying attention to the other workers, Gus just ran around with a hammer pretending to be four. In fact, he struck one of his dad's workers with the hammer in the spine and paralyzed him for life. The incident caused Gus's dad to become an alcoholic. I've heard of getting hammered, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, Gus, with your temperament, a nigga like me can sleep easy at night knowing policemen like you are keeping our suburb and streets safe from all those crackheads. Really? Thank you. Your kind words are really encouraging. I was being sarcastic, shit for brains. In all seriousness, this kid is going to be a future police officer. I don't get it. Why is everyone booing? Anyways, I saved the best for last. Glenn, you putrid pile of elephant come. Oh no. I'm not hearing this. I'm not hearing this. Glenn is a sex pervert who likes to randomly whip his dick out. Oops, Glenn just got his dick chopped off. Let's have a moment of silence for Glenn's tiny dick. Not only is Glenn a filthy sex pervert, but so is his family. This is based on a true story. One time Glenn and his family invited me to watch them perform in front of a talent agent. Glenn's family consists of himself, his little sister, his mother, his father, and his dog. The talent agent's office is very spacious and fancy. They will need to do a lot to impress him. <coughs> Anyways, the family is standing in front of the desk. First thing they do is strip off all their clothes then Glenn's mom goes down on him and starts giving him a blow job then the sister goes down on the father and starts blowing him while the father starts fist fucking the dog then the dog starts licking the mother's pussy while the mother then proceeds to fist fuck her daughter then Glenn goes down and starts eating out his father's asshole while his father starts jerking off the dog the dog's red rocket immediately starts shooting come all over. The sister and the sister snowballs the cum into her father's mouth, the father swallows the cum and takes a big steaming shit on his wife's tits, the dog starts eating the shit while Glenn and his sister start sucking on their mouth, our shit smeared tits, then the father starts blowing Glenn while Glenn starts finger fucking his little sister, the mother then starts munching on Glenn and balls, this really turns Glenn on as he shoots a hot load right into his father's mouth, the father then spits th. 
But he come on to his daughter's cum tea while the dog starts licking out the cum in while the mother's bed has her asshole so wide that bland his sister and his father all manage to fist her asshole at the same time in while the father grabs a knife hidden in his wife's asshole and uses it to cut the dog's head off the son and the father immediately starts fucking the neck hole of the dog meanwhile the mother and the daughter start blowing the dead dog's dick. This goes on for another minute or so. The family all stand up side by side and take a bow. The talent agent goes. Gee, that is quite an interesting act. What do you call yourselves? The family says, the aristocrats. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You. You monster. You promised you would never tell anyone. Gotta go. Matt, Gus, Glenn. Get your hunky asses up and let's blow this popsicle stand. Maybe Matt's mom could blow my popsicle stand. You wanted to play a roasting game? You got it. Like I said, you crackers got nothing in the roasting game. Nothing. I just got a police report. Apparently some hooligans are committing acts of disorderly conduct, indecent exposure, and destruction of property. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? It was Gary. It was all Gary. What? Bullshit. I didn't do any of that. You all committed those crimes, not me. Look at him, officer. He's obviously guilty. You got to believe me. Of course it was you. What do you mean by that? Gary is also a crackhead. Don't believe him, officer. Gus is full of more shit than a Christmas goose. <sighs> when will you people learn? You. People. Oh my god, you look angry. I need to get out the taser. Oh. That looks cool. Can I try? Of course. Oh, I can't move. I guess it's just one of those days. So concludes a day in the life of these dumb teenagers. Gary goes to jail while his horrible friends walk free. At least that is what would happen if the Taser's electromagnetic currencies didn't interfere with some bombs Matt had hiding in his jacket, killing everyone.